Right, so something I wanted to read real quick was this 10 scrolls, the Mangino Salesman 10 scrolls, but it's not only for salespeople, it's also for anyone trying to improve self-improvement, trying to f focus more or trying to get a goal accomplished in their life. And I wanted to go through the 10 of the scrolls. Before I do, uh, the 10 scrolls from the greatest salesman in the world, Mandino. You usually, what, how the, what the protocol is, is to read each scroll, which is about one to three pages, one to four pages. Each scroll three times a day with one of them being out loud right before bed. And you do it for 30 days and then you move on to the next one, 28 or 38 days. And then you move on to the next one. But you don't move on to the next one until then. I still have yet to complete that, and it's so hard, but I'm not going to kill myself over it. But here are the 10 scrolls. That's why it's so hard to do. But that's to get it ingrained in your brain. Now, scroll number one, today I begin a new life. Scroll number two, and basically what this scroll is about is, I'll actually give a little demonstration or a little example of each. The career I've chosen is laden with opportunity, yet it is filled with, yet it is fraught with, filled with heartbreak and despair and the bodies of those who have failed where they, if they piled one atop another, would cast its shadow upon all the pyramids of the earth. Basically, this is saying, today is a new day, yet I will not fail. As the other is for, in my hands I hold the charts to guide me through these rough waters. I will form good habits. It talks about a lot about habits. Today, I start a new life. Talking about I will be a slave to my habits because that's how things change through habits and actions. And basically being conscious of what we're doing. So that's today. Today, I begin a new life. Scroll number two, I will greet this day with love in my heart. I'll greet this day with love in my heart, for this is the greatest secret of success in all ventures. Muscle can split a shield, even destroy life, but only the unseen power of love can open the hearts of men. And until I master this art, I'll remain no more than a peddler in the marketplace. So when you have love in your heart, when you have a passion for what you're doing, when you have a care for what you're doing, it will open the hearts of other men. I'll greet this day with love in my heart. I'll greet this day with love in my heart. I'll greet this day with love in my heart. Second scroll, third scroll. I will persist until I succeed. In the Orient, young bulls are tested for the fight arena in a certain manner. Each is brought to the ring and allowed to attack a picketer who pricks them with a lance. The bravery of each bull is then rated with care according to the number of times he demonstrates his willingness to charge in spite of the sting of the blade. Henceforth will I recognize that each day I am tested by life in like manner. If I persist, if I continue to try, if I continue to charge forward, I will succeed. So this one is all talking about persistence and how life isn't always going to go your way. But I will persist until I succeed. I will persist until I succeed. I am, scroll number four, I am nature's greatest miracle. Since the beginning of time, there's never been anyone thin another with my mind, my heart, my eyes, my ears, my hands, my hair, my mouth. None that came before, none that lived today, and none that will come tomorrow. All men are brothers, yet I am different from each. I am a unique creature. I am a greatest, I am nature's greatest miracle. And this one talks about how like, it's a great, it's a miracle to be here, a miracle to be alive. I'll increase my knowledge of mankind, myself, and the gods. And the goods I sell, thus my sales will multiply. I will practice and improve and polish the words I utter to sell my goods, for this is the formulation on which I will build my career, and never will I forget that many have attained great wealth and success with only one sales talk, deliver with excellence. Also will I seek constantly to improve my manners and graces, for they are the sugar to which all are attracted. And I want to add style to that because I just heard something from his name. I am nature's greatest miracle. Scroll number five. I will live this day as it is my la as if it is my last. I will avoid with fury the killers of time. I will avoid with fury the killers of time. I will avoid with fury the killers of time. Procrastination I will destroy with action. Doubt I will bury with faith. Fear I will December with confidence. Where there are idle mouths I will listen not. Where there are idle hands I will linger not. Where there are idle bodies, I will visit not. Henceforth, I know that the court of idleness is to steal food, clothing, and warmth from those I love. I am not a thief. I am a man of love, and today is my last chance to prove my love and my greatness. Huh. I will live this day as it is, if it is my last. The duties of today I shall fulfill today. Today I shall fondle my children while they are young. Tomorrow they will be gone. And so, so will I today. I shall embrace and so will I. Today I shall embrace my woman with the sweet kisses. Tomorrow, because tomorrow she will be gone. And so will I. Today I shall lift up a friend in need. Tomorrow he will be no longer a cry for help. Nor will I hear his cries. Today I shall give myself in sacrifice and work. Tomorrow I will have nothing to give. And there will be none to receive. I will live this day as if it is my last. 
and if it is my last, it will be my greatest monument. This day will make the best day of my life. I will live this day as if it is my last, and if it is not, I shall fall to my knees and give thanks. These are good, I'm telling you, see how it's not just about for salespeople, it's for people who are trying to, you know, share with share, the, share something with the world, or create something, or uh, communicate something. Scroll number six, today I will be master of my emotions. I love this one, and this is the one I read the other day. The tides advance, the tides recede. Winter goes and summer comes. Summer wanes and the cold increases. The sun rises, the sun sets. The moon is full, the moon is black. The birds arrive, the birds depart. Flowers bloom, flowers fade. Seeds are sown, harvests are reaped. All nature is a circle of moods, and I am a part of nature. And so, like the tides, my moods will rise, my moods will fall. Today, I will be the master of my emotions. And this is a great one, too. If I feel depressed, I will sing. If I feel sad, I will laugh. If I feel ill, I will double my labor. If I feel fear, I will plunge ahead. If I feel inferior, I will wear new garments. If I feel uncertain, I will raise my voice. If I feel poverty, I will think of wealth to come. If I feel incompetent, I will remember past success. If I feel insignificant, I will remember my goals. That's why it's always important to have goals. It's something to be looking forward to. This is another key to happiness. It's just something to be looking forward to. Shout out Tracy Morgan. If I become overconfident, I will recall my failures. If I overindulge, I will think of past hungers. If I feel complacency, I will remember my competition. If I enjoy moments of greatness, I will remember moments of shame. If I feel all-powerful, I will try to stop the wind. If I attain great wealth, I will remember one unfed mouth. If I become over, overly proud, I will remember a moment of weakness. If I feel my skill is unmatched, I will look at the stars. Today, I will be master of my emotions. So that's a good one. And then scroll number seven, I will laugh at the world. No living creature can laugh except man. Trees may bleed when they are wounded, and beasts in the field will cry in pain and hunger. Yet only I have the gift of laughter, and it is mine to use whenever I choose. Henceforth, I will cultivate the habit of laughter. And I'm going to add this asterisk to laughter. Laughter with love, because there's a lot of laughter with hate and je jealousy and envy, and that laughter is mean. So with the kindness version of laughter. And laughter with love. Then you go with scroll number eight. Today I will multiply my value a hundredfold. I love this one because it's always thinking about how we can increase our value. So today I will multiply my value a hundredfold. A mulberry leaf touched with the genius of man becomes silk. A field of clay touched with genius of man becomes castle. A cypress tree touched with genius of man becomes a shrine. A cut of sheep's hair touched with the genius man becomes raiment for a king. I wish they had more to date ones examples, but they do not. But that is an example. And then today I will multiply my value a hundredfold. I will commit not the terrible crime of aiming too low. I will do the work that a failure will not do. I will always let my reach exceed my grasp. I will never be content with my performance in the market. I will always make my I will always raise my goals as soon as they are attained. I will always strive to make the next hour better than this one. I will always announce my goals to the world. That one I'm still hesitant about because I'm not sure if it's good to announce them. It might deflate the goal. Anyway, that is scroll number eight. Scroll number nine. I will act now. This is love this one. This was my theme of 2024. As we all know, myself. Do it now. My dreams are worthless. My plans are dust. My goals are impossible. All are of no value unless they are followed by action. I will act now. Never has there been a map, however carefully executed to detail and scale, which carried its owner over even one inch of the ground. Never has there been a parchment of lay, however fair, which prevented one crime. Never has there been a scroll, even such as the one I hold, which earned so much as a penny or produced a single word of acclamation. Action alone is the tinder which ignites the map. The parchment, this scroll, my dreams, my plans, my goals into a living force. Action is the food and drink which will nourish my success. Action, movement, movement is medicine. Another reason why I integrated these scrolls into movement is medicine. So act now, do it now. Action is the food and drink which will nourish my success. That is very interesting actually. Do, wow, that is very interesting. I will act now. When I'm tempted to quit and begin again tomorrow, I will say them and immediately act to consummate another sale. I will repeat these words again and again when I will make, I will act now, I will act now, I will act now. 
Henceforth I will repeat these words again and again and again, each hour, each day, every day, until the words become as much habit as my breathing, and the actions which follow become as instinctive as the blinking of my eyelids. With these words I condition my mind to perform every act necessary for my success. With these words I can condition my mind to meet every challenge which failure avoids. I will act now. I will repeat these words again and again and again. When I awake, I will say them and leap from my cot while the failure sleeps yet another hour. I will act now. Now, when I enter the marketplace, I will say them and immediately confront my first prospect while the failure ponders yet his possibility of rebuff. I will act now. When I face closed door, I will say them and knock while the failure is way outside with fear and tendency. I will act now. When I face temptation, I will say them and immediately act to remove myself from evil. I will act now. When I am tempted to quit and begin again tomorrow, I will say them and immediately act to consume another sale. I will act now. Scroll number 10. I will pray for guidance. Who is of so little faith that in the moment of disaster or heartbreak has not called to his God, has not cried out when confronted with danger, death, mystery? Move your hand in haste, my God, in the same deep impulse. I ask not for gold, garments, or even opportunities equal to my ability. Instead, guide me so that I may acquire the ability equal to my opportunities. You have taught the lion, the eagle, how to hunt and prosper with teeth and claw. Teach me how to hunt with words and prosper with love, so that I may be a lion among men and an eagle in the marketplace. Help me remain humble through obstacles and failures, and not hide my eyes from the prize that will come with victory. Assign me tasks to which others have failed, and guide me to pluck the seeds of success from their failures. Confront me with fears, they will temper my spirit, yet endow me with courage to laugh at my misgivings. Spare me significant days to reach my goals, and help me to live this day as though it is my last. Guide me in my words, that they may bear fruit, yet silence me from gossip, that none be maligned. Guide me with my words, that they may bear fruit, yet silence me from gossip, that none be maligned. Discipline me in the habits of trying and trying again, yet show me the way to make use of law of averages. Favor me with alertness to recognize opportunity, yet endow me with patience, which will concrete my strength. Bathe me in good habits, that the bad ones may drown away, yet grant me compassion for weakness in others. Suffer me to know that all things shall pass, yet help me to count my blessings today. Expose me to hate so it not be my stranger, yet fill my cup with love to turn strangers into friends. But all things, but all these things be only if thy will. I am a small and lonely grape, clutching the vine yet, through hast made me different from all others. Verily, there must be a special place for me, Help me, show me the way. Let me become all you planned for me when my seed was planted and selected by you to sprout in the vineyard of the world. Help me, help this humble salesman. Guide me, God. So those are the 10 scrolls. I'm gonna integrate those in my book and I wanted to read them to have a video version. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, comment below. And if you've come this far, check out my book, Movement is Medicine. Have a great day.